Hi, this is Ahmed from Silnon Tutorials. Today I have a new video about how can we configure IP version 6 on Linux CentOS 7. So uh, the newest video is there is a provider that's called online.net and this provider fortunately it can give you slash uh, 48 and IP version 6 which is uh, really seldom. If you uh, Google the internet and ask the providers like Linode, OVH, or any provider that give you IP version 6, none of them will allow or none of them will accept to give you slash uh, 48. Why? Because they consider it as a kind of security and they would like to ask you many questions before they uh, go ahead. So right now I have a server from online.net it's ready right now and here's the terminal and this is the uh, the documentation on this website and how can we uh, connect the IBM 6 so first of all this is a fresh server and this is the basic connectivity for the internet and it's working but this test the IBM version 6 ping 6 IBM version 6.google.com Sorry. As you see, it's not working. If we do minus n, this is the address that I'm gonna try to connect, but unfortunately, it's not coming back. To it. So the ping is not working right now, right? So uh, first of all, I'm gonna stop the IB tables, IB uh, six tables minus l, right? I'm gonna say minus f, and I'm gonna say service. IB tables save system CTL save IB six tables dot service So here's IB tables all stopped on the IB version 6 and I'm gonna stop the IB version 4, IB version 4 as well. IB tables minus F and here's the IB tables for the IB version 4. Alright, so both are stopped. Now let's uh, let's um, join the uh, documentation. So first of all, as you see, it, if you ask it the slash 48 it's mandatory for you to follow this uh, the steps right here so uh, you know they are using the DHCP client you must have a DHCP client for uh, for me I would would always prefer to use uh, the Dibbler the Dibbler this is also can be run on CentOS 6 and also valid on CentOS 7 so let's try to run it I'm gonna copy the package And now we have to install the group install yum development tools I think this is duplicated so I'm going to close the connection and I'm going to say yes storing the packages
if I go back to my uh, to my account, as you see, this is my account. This is the panel of my server, and I uh, I am in the IP version six section. As you see, this is the block that has been assigned to my server. As you see, only three octets. Each octet has its own 16 bits. So the the to the total bits is 48 bits in my server. So that means I have a huge, huge, huge number of IPs that can be assigned in my server. Uh, one of the most uh, beautiful things is if you have slash 48 you will have the subnet of when you have slash 48 you can use 2 to the power 16 subnets of slash 64 right so again if you have slash 48 you can create 2 to the power 16 single subnets of slash 64 right and this is very nice you can create 6 sound about 6 uh, 65,000 subnets of slash 64 right this is very nice to you and if you pick up only one IB in each subnet of the 16,000 uh, you will have a great and diverse IBs and ranges as well so let's continue right now uh, the package is stopped right here I'm gonna install now it is compiling the, the dibbler it's compiling right now the dibbler and then it's it will make and install the package as well all of that in one single operation so if you have a look right here on the documentation it says that this for the CentOS 6 and from my perspective it's gonna be working in CentOS 6 and CentOS 7 as well all of us know that there is a big difference between CentOS 6 and CentOS 7 and especially when you deal with the services you have to type sysctl it's not as the previous when you type etc and it the d and so on so much differences right there exist so i think i have to wait a little bit of time until this compilation get finished Again, as I mentioned, I have to make sure that IP6 tables is stopped and the IP version 4 tables is already stopped as well. I have also uh, a web page that can test the connectivity if you have the servers ready you can also test the connectivity from the internet directly so I guess that this is my pool number right and I would like to add that IP address let's say 1111 Slash right, so this is my IP address that's gonna be added to the server. I have a specific formula that can be used IB6 add config like that. So it's still in the compilation process. Oh no, the CPU is 
Mm, I think my processor is not strong. The only two two cores in that server. Only processor number zero and processor number one. So I guess it's gonna take more and more in time. Alright, the compilation process of the Debler has finished. Now I'm going to resume the documentation. And this, I think, this is for the CentOS 6, but, we, but for the CentOS 7, I think that we have to say system ctl enable dibbler dash client that service all right anyway i have to use the chick config right now and now I'm gonna use the DUID file. Now you have to go to your account, website. So this is my account and here is the DUID. I'm gonna copy, then paste. Right, and this is the client.com. Save and now I'm gonna run. Mm -hmm. All right, now I have enabled the service. Now I'm gonna get back to server and ping Google, ping six. So let's put up my IP address now. Great. So now I have the IP address installed and configured. If config, this is the if config. This is my link local IP address. This is the global address that I have just put. If config I need add, this is the my my IB version 6 network. And this is my IB version 4 as well. You know I can say IB version 6 uh, route show Alright. 
right this is my networks and this is the default gateway as we know in IBRN6 the default gateway is always be link local IP address and detected automatically using the negotiation the neighbor, dis neighbor discovery protocol right so again I can ping now google.com let's say minus n and this is the address of google.com now I'm gonna check the same thing from the internet I'm gonna copy that go back to the internet and try to ping my server from the internet Now I'm pinging. All right, there's a response with about 10 milliseconds. So we have the server that's running on IP version 4 and IP version 6 as well. And I hope this video has been informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing. If you like my video, please subscribe, like my video, and give me a great feedback. Thank you so much. See you next time in another video.